Vice-President of President on the 20th of July 2019 to my ministry to intervene and take over the operations of the Kenya Farmers Association Limited, KFE, in my view of structure need, I would like to update the public as follows. KFE has undergone a number of changes in its legal status since inception. The organization was registered in 1923 as a company, then registered as a cooperative society in 1932. It operated under new registration until 1984 when it was converted into a cooperative union, Kenya Green Growers Cooperative Union Limited, KDGCU. As KDGCU, the organization operated under the Cooperative Societies Act, Cap 490. In 1996, KGCU changed its name to KFA Limited, but continued operating as a cooperative society under the Cooperative Societies Act. At its peak, KFA played a major role of providing affordable farm inputs to cereals, coffee, dairy, and Calvera Edram farmers, among others. KFA members register is composed of the original 10,000 members and the additional 53,000 members recruited during the KDDC tenure. Most of the original members are probably deceased given that they would have joined KFA in the 50s and the 60s. Though KFA still enjoys goodwill of farmers, it has not met the intended objective. Currently, it has 67 branches, but only that the three stores are operational, with most of them operating in low capacity. Additionally, KFA is highly indebted to financial institutions, former staff, and suppliers. The immediate former board, through its initiatives, has been able to clear a substantive amount of the debts inherited from former officials. In addition, KFA has not audited its financial statements for many years. Though there was an immediate former board that was managing KFA, it is evident that there has been no election for several years, thus rendering it illegitimate. However, the immediate former board has failed to account for its activities by one, failing to convene general meetings contrary to Section 27 of the Cooperative Act. Two, failure to present auditor accounts to the members contrary to Section 25 of the Act. Three, uh, three failing to file annual returns with the Commission for Cooperative Development contrary to 14 of the Cooperative Societies Act. Borrowing in conservation of the United Disposing of assets without members' approval and the carrying of furniture without approved budgets in contravention of the 12th. Given that background, what is the way forward? We have explained that in you know, certain rules we have not followed. Uh, we have also established too that KFA, even though there were attempts to, to change its status from the corporate society to a company limited by shares, that never succeeded. It still remained the corporate society. Under the law. Way forward, KFA still enjoys goodwill from the, far from the farmers and is still relevant to the nation for the purposes of creating economies of scale, maintaining quality of farm inputs, organized marketing, and provision of foreign credit farmers. Arising from the above and taking cognizance of the presidential directive, I directed the Commission of Cooperative Development to invoke the relevant sections of the Cooperative Societies Act and rules and do the following. One, dissolve the immediate former board of KFA and appoint caretaker board consisting of nine persons. Two, the caretaker board to be in office for a period not exceeding six months with the following mandate. A, to conduct the affairs of KFA in accordance with established laws and regulations for the maximum benefit 
for the members, verification of the assets and liabilities of the KSB, cleanup of the members' register, review and amend the bylaws of the KSA to conform to the current cooperative uh, regime and the current constitution, formulate a business plan and revise work strategy for KFA, update KFA books of accounts and cost auditing of the financial statements, reforming the structure and the operations of KFA to align them to aspirations of farmers and government priorities, convening and preparation for a general meeting to receive, consider and approve accounts and elect a substantive board of directors. The caretaker board and the management will support the government on the structuring of KFA as mutually agreed on the 9th September 2019 and then they have an auxiliary duty that will be deemed necessary for the attainment of the above functions. In its operations, the caretaker committee will make periodic reports to the cabinet secretary and the commission for cooperatives. So that is my reports on what we have done so far in uh, carrying out and implementing the President's Directive Caretaker Board, which consists of some members of the immediate former board and new members. And I want to say, even though certain rules in the law are not followed, I want to, to actually appreciate the work that was done by the immediate former board in terms of preserving the institution and keeping the institution running for the period that it was in legal limbo. It has been in legal limbo for, for some time. Because certain rules that were required to be followed to keep the institution in the legal track were not followed. But I want to appreciate that they, and like some of the institutions, they are able to keep the institution running for us to be able now to, to structure an institution that is existing. Maybe we could even afford it uh, God. And that's why we found it uh, necessary to have a mixture of the board that existed, that understood the institutions very well, and also rejected uh, managerial skills and other skills that well the new take a board to be able to do the task that I was assigned in the statement that I just read. Yes, so if there are any questions, I can uh, answer as I can get the list of people. We can even see who I do have to read. That gentleman over there is actually with the chairman. Mr. Mipe, my name is Richard Mipe, chairman of the last board of KFA. From Bomet. I'm Benjamin Yonkova from the former board finance chairman from Nyasa, Kisi. My name is Stella Karanja, a business person and entrepreneur from Nakuru, and also a member of Nakuru Business Association. Yes, my name is Mr. Kip Kurira Rabmejo. From a fourth member from Washington County. <coughs> I teach at the University of Nairobi and mainly focusing on the transformation of our agricultural space, integrating co cooperative institutions into farm organizations through systems and agribusiness. My name is Simon My name is Kino Pitrivi, an important member from Nero. <clears throat> yes, that is the, the caretaker board, even though there is one of them who is not able to be held this meeting.
Willis or Luoch Kasura. He is also, he is also a professor.